We're trying to commence Amanda Claus here. Hi guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first Amanda Claus video of 2019. Amanda Claus season is back, guys. Uh, back by popular demand, might I add. <laughs> a lot of you guys were counting down till Amanda Claus season, which I'm very glad you were happy about, but I was also waiting and very excited to get this going because these are some of my favorite videos to make. If this is your first Amanda Claus, welcome. It's a fun time. Basically, it just means like holiday vlogs and videos, and at the end of every single Amanda Claus video, I do a holiday giveaway. For this year, I brought back the iconic Amanda Claus uniform, which basically is just a super long Santa hat. <laughs> Last year it was a hit, it became, it became quite a meme and uh, a lot of you guys loved it, so I brought it back and it's back with an extra special touch. I actually <laughs> embroidered it, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says Amanda Claus on it. <laughs> so we are back this year, bigger, better, we have personalized hats, that's an upgrade for us. <laughs> Usually these videos are very low budget. I actually made a bunch more of these and I'm gonna be including them in every single Amanda Claus giveaway, so it's gonna be fun. I'm just gonna move that back there. For today's Amanda Claus video, oh, siren. We're trying to commence Amanda Claus here. As I was saying, today's video, I'm doing some holiday art journaling with these goodies and these are actually from Ferris Wheel Press. If you guys have watched the video where I attempted fountain pen, calligraphy for the very first time, you'll know that uh, Ferris Wheel Press is an amazing stationery brand. They're actually based for, out of Toronto, Canada, which is where I'm from. And ever since that video, I've been obsessed with writing with fountain pen. They were kind enough to sponsor this video and actually they are gonna be providing a lovely fountain pen set for the Amanda Claus giveaway later in the video. But uh, they challenged me to do some holiday art journaling, which I love doing that if you guys have watched my holiday videos in any years in the past, you'll know that I always have like holiday bullet journal video ideas and sometimes I do like Christmas doodle spreads. So this is right up my alley. I am going to be making some fun holiday journaling spreads. It's not gonna be like bullet journal per se. I'm gonna be using their new fountain pen. This one is the fine tip one. I have the old one, the white one. This one is like their classic thickness, which I love. It writes so, so smooth, but this one is a little bit thinner. So um, I like that I have both of them now. And I'm also gonna be using their notebooks. This is the always write notebook, the square one. And then this is the nothing left notebook. And what's interesting about these is the actual shape. This is way skinnier than a regular A5 journal. So it's really great for like daily tasks. Cause as you can see, it's like almost shaped like a task list. And then this one is actually more square shaped. So this is perfect if you were trying to do some more like creative spreads and you want more space in your bullet journal. I've never really seen a notebook that's square shaped like this. They're both dotted and the paper's really smooth because obviously it's compatible with fountain pens. And the leather is so soft, guys. Like this is, this is so soft. I also have the pretty leather folio that you can actually put the notebook in. And there's also actually a little slot for you to place your fountain pen in there. So when you're traveling, you can have your notebook, your fountain pen all right in here. I think these would be such pretty gifts. Like look at these ink packaging. They really have some of the best packaging. It feels like you're opening up like magical inks. So if you are like looking for a nice gift for someone who's really into stationery, just like a little fountain pen set with some inks. Obviously, since we're doing holiday colors, I thought I would whip out these two. Uh, this is Peppermint Drop, and it's like this dark green color, and this is Candy Marsala. I'm gonna set you guys up in an angle that you can see better. I wanted this video to be a little bit more chill, and I honestly don't have a plan of like the journal spreads that I wanna make, but I know I wanna do some like doodles and lettering, and maybe I'll do like a little gifts to buy list, cause honestly, I'm a little stressed about Christmas shopping this year. Thank you again to Ferris Real Press for joining the Amanda Claus festive season. Uh, and let's get started. So here's my plan. I'm really excited about this square notebook. Cause like, look at how much space that is. There's like so much drawing real estate. So I wanna do some like Christmas doodles and lettering on this. And then on this guy, the like more rectangular one, I think I'm just gonna like create a nice little list a like christmas shopping list a holiday shopping list and it'll be it'll be nice we'll we'll figure it out i had to take off the hat because i was sweating a little bit i want to do some doodling first also with the fountain pens it's going to be nice because 
Uh, they'll be inherently more simple spreads since I'm only gonna be using the fountain pen, so it'll be like two, only two different colors. These are like chopsticks. <laughs> um, okay, let's do this. What I discovered in the last video is that inks can get very messy, so I have like my paper towel in front of me. Um, and I'm actually just gonna be using the little ink charger sets. So on Ferris Wheel Press, they have like the full size inks, which come in these pretty like bulbous potion shaped ones. But they also have these nice little sets that come with smaller versions of each ink. So if you wanna try out like all the different colors, that's a really good option for gift wise. And it's also more affordable. So I'm just gonna be using that app. Oh, and another good thing about these small ones is that you can like travel with them. So if you wanna like travel with your fountain pen, you'll always have some ink on hand. Uh, so I am going to fill the thicker fountain pen with the green ink and then the thinner one with the red ink. I'm still a noob at this guys, so forgive me if I do anything incorrectly. One done requires, I'm gonna attempt not to get ink all over myself for this video, which I know is a big, it's a big goal, but so far, so good. Okay, so we have one done. Lovely. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a nice doodle for Amanda Claus using only the red because this red ink is just so stunning. This is my first time using the thin version of the uh, brush pen. I actually really like it because um, especially for stuff like this where the designs are really simple, um, I think the thin lines just look really clean and elegant. So I'm liking it so far. I think I'm just gonna fill the entire thing with like leaves and stuff and it'll be really cute. I don't really have like a plan in mind. I'm just kind of drawing these florals and filling it in. And it's honestly like kind of satisfying just like filling in the blank spaces. So we'll see how it ends up looking when it's all filled in. I feel like it's been a while since I've just doodled for no reason. Like there's really no function to this, this design. I'm just kind of making stuff. It's not like it's a, you know, a usable bullet journal spreader or anything. sun filling the page. I wanted to keep it like kind of consistent so I'm only using a couple different leaf types. There's like so many different ways that you can draw like these leaf foliage designs but I didn't want it to look too chaotic so the main ones that I have going on are like I have these ones that just have the simple oval. There's ones that look more like branches and I added some like berries on top and then ones with like more leaf details. I think it looks I think it looks pretty good that way. Guys, okay, I finished my first spread. This is very therapeutic to do. Like having no specific goal with the spread and just seeing where it goes. Now I have a little Happy Amanda Claus title page. And if you're curious about like the paper, as you can see on this over here, there is 
a tiny bit of, of bleeding just where I like uh, really went over the ink a lot. Uh, but there's actually not too much ghosting and I feel like you could definitely write on the other side of the paper if you wanted to. Now that I finished my nice little doodle, I think I'm gonna move on to actually creating some little Christmas lists in the, what is this called again? Nothing left notebook. Of course, these can be used in like regular size notebooks as well. I just, I don't know why I'm so amused by the shape of these notebooks. Like I just have never seen a blank dotted notebook in like this skinny format or in this square format. So I'm having a lot of fun here. For this spread, I think I'm gonna make use of the green ink, the peppermint drop. Like the name is perfect. How can you not create a holiday spread using that ink? And I don't really know where I'm going with this spread, but all I know is that I, I have so much Christmas shopping to do. Okay guys, so I finished my little holiday journal spreads. I did a couple like bullet journal style spreads. So over here we have my holiday shopping list. This one's really simple. It's just like, I have the name of the person, uh, the gift that I need to buy. And then on the other side, I have an idea. Sometimes I think of like gift ideas for specific people and then I forget them <laughs> whenever I actually have to shop. So this is like a good simple layout for um, for that type of stuff, especially since there's a lot of people that I need to get small gifts for, like acquaintances or people that I work with. Then on the other side, I have my holiday bucket list, which is so cute. I always love having like a nice holiday bucket list. So I have all the different things that I wanna do in the center. I have like go skating, bake cookies, watch Frozen 2, which I really wanna see because I heard it's really good, um, and a bunch of other things. I kept it pretty simple in terms of the style just because I feel like simple is best when it comes to like fountain pen calligraphy. And also it's just like a quick little spread, especially with the, the thinner notebook layout. And then the other layout that I did was a gift tracker. So this is a bit different from the idea, the gift ideas list on the other side, the holiday shopping list, because this is more so like when you know what you need to buy or if you've already bought it. So I have, the name on one side of the table, gift description, and then I have a section for whether it's bought, wrapped, and whether I finished the card for that gift. So then once I have like all of the actual gifts, it'll be easy for me to keep track of where I am in the, the gift making process. There we go. And then of course we did the nice little doodling, the holiday Amanda Claus doodle spread, which I love this. I might like scan this and digitize it because I think it's so cute. Anyway, um, that's actually it for today's Amanda Claus video. Just a simple little journal with me video. I wanted to do something holiday and festive, but 
also relaxing. I want to make Amanda Claus enjoyable for both you and me, like me doing it and then also for you guys watching it. But now on to the Amanda Claus giveaway. I gotta get my hat out for this moment, of course. <laughs> I can't believe I actually have Amanda Claus Santa hats. For today's Amanda Claus giveaway, as I mentioned before, my lovely friends at Ferris Wheel Press are going to be gifting one of you guys a fountain pen set with your very own ink charger set. So you'll have three different colors to play around with as well as the actual fountain pen. And guys, like whoever wins this, honestly, you're really gonna enjoy writing with this. I. I feel like my life has changed ever since using a fountain pen. It's just such an enjoyable writing experience. It writes so smoothly and I love like all the details on the fountain pen. That's not all guys. So the winner of today's giveaway is also going to be winning one of my 2020 doodle planners, my brand new planner collection that just came out. You're gonna get to choose your color, whichever color you want, and it'll be a nice little set because you can have your 2020 doodle planner and you can write in it with the fountain pen because yes, my planner is fountain pen friendly. You'll be getting a Amanda Claus hat, a 2020 doodle planner, and a nice Ferris wheel press fountain pen set. And I might throw in a couple extra goodies in there for you guys, but that is today's giveaway. All of the rules for entering will be in the description box below. First Amanda Claus video complete. I hope you guys enjoyed. We have some more fun Amanda Claus videos coming, so stay tuned. I actually would suggest that you guys either turn on post notifications for my channel or make sure you check my channel frequently for new Amanda Claus videos because every single video is going to have a giveaway. I think I'm going to be including a 2020 doodle planner in every single giveaway, so if you do want to increase your chances on winning some sort of prize, you know, you can enter all of the Amanda Claus giveaways and watch all of those videos as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay festive, keep doodling, and I will talk to you in the next Amanda Claus video. Bye everyone.